Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Yes, it is time for Can't Do It. 15 minutes before John Fox and Ryan Pace meet the media. I got all over my Twitter timeline. Eric Cush riding a bike. Mike Glennon holding a pillow. They're walking into training camp, buddy. They're coming into dorms. Big time news here. This segment brought to you by CC's. Now at CC's, party with bacon stuffed crust and new grilled cheese stuffed crust pizza. Joining the original top of pepperoni on the unlimited buffet. Just five and change at CC's. Prices may vary. You know the drill. No proprietary information, social security numbers, bank account numbers, etc. Also, if something has been asked and answered in previous weeks of Can't Do It, we have the right to say... Asked and answered. We don't need to reopen the scab. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, one question, no follow-ups to one person. Yes, producers, texters are saying a producer's a uh, fair game. Yes, if you want to ask Campy or Jay Zawoski questions, they are uh, willing to do that. You ready to go? I'm ready. 312-644-6767. Tony, you're up first. Who's your question for? Spiegel. Hey, Tony. Miss Rosen has gone off the grid. Brass has determined that you're in charge of reconfiguring morning, midday, and afternoon co-hosts. All score on-air personalities eligible for this draft, <laughs> except Grobber wants back in the day game. And he's got pictures of somebody. So he is automatically one of the six. Go. <laughs> so I, I could just rearrange everybody and go ahead and do it, huh? Oh, yeah, boy. for morning, midday, and afternoon. I think Grobstein, Grobstein, and Mulligan would uh, would make for <laughs> an extremely uh, an entertaining uh, contrast in the morning. And I, I, this is a draft too, so this is like this is like picking teams on the playground. Okay, <laughs> yeah, uh, give me Grobstein and Mully. Um, God, I don't know about the rest of the days. You know. Um, I mean, I, I thought me and Jason were on to something. I might go back to that. I think Parkins and Bernstein would be fascinating radio. Because, <laughs> Danny, you're so competitive. I mean, like Parkins going after Bernstein every day. Because Bernstein wants a fight every day, and Danny would give it to him every <laughs> single day. You're, you're going to zap Hanley? Uh, I, I, you look, come on, man. Yeah, you zapped Hanley. Okay, I, no follow-up I, questions, Tony. I, 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 <laughs> he answered your question. You, you told me Grobstein had to be in. Yeah, he told me, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what happened. You no told- three, no three man booths, you jerk. Yeah, I, I didn't, I did he not consider. I don't, I don't like the three man booth. <sighs> All right. Let's go to, uh, <sighs> let, let's go to David. David, you're on. Can't do it on the score. Go ahead, David. Hi, my question is for speed. Yes, sir. All right, Speed, can you name one thing you dislike the most about your partner, Park Park, Bernstein, and Golf? Oh, that, that's, that's three. That's, that's three, babe. That's, that's three. That's three, Pick babe. Pick one. Choose one. All right, uh, just your partner, Park Park. One thing I dislike the most about Danny? Don't you just don't you listen to the show? <laughs> like, it comes up fairly often. Well, Been one? answered for seven months. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? Like, I can't. I can't. Spiegel's never mentioned one thing that he dislikes about. No, go ahead. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Um, I think it's the. Uh, no, I don't know. I mean, what, what, were you thinking of one in particular? I, I mean. Competitiveness. Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's, uh, um, it's the competitiveness. It's yeah. the competitiveness. It's it's the fact that things turn into a debate sometimes when well, they're not intended. When they're not intended to be a debate, and I think don't necessarily need to be. But we've talked about it on air and off the air. Bill and Aurora, who's your question for? <laughs> Danny. Yeah. Go. Besides your wife on your honeymoon, how many ladies that you saw when you said you fantasized over? <laughs> well, so you're looking for a total number of ladies. <laughs> In a foreign in a foreign country, when he li- he he, we spent five days uh, 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 like seaside. Okay, as well, right? So, like, I will say, like, in the act, the I can give you the true answer of zero because I have answered in the past that that has happened before, uh, where you know you play your highlight reel over or something like that. But mm-hmm. you know, we were we were spicing it up nicely in the in the honeymoon. But yes, as Spiegel said. Positano, the Amalfi Coast, is just gorgeous, and yeah, there were there was there was some tanning, and there's like the the bathing suit game is just it's it's evolving. Where like 
almost everything is a thong. Like, there's lots of, like, bikini wedgies. And then I also noticed, if you notice the move of, like, they got to rearrange. They're always rearranging in these bikini tops and just, like, being careful. So there's, like, good-looking women all over the place doing all sorts of impressive things with their <laughs> bikini tops. So I would, I would just I'd say dozens is the, is the answer to your question, Bill, to be perfectly honest with you. It's a good-looking group. That is a... Uh, that is a uh, but oftentimes, like, my, my wife would... You are a male. She'd be like... Hey, know, man. Yeah, she'd be like, you know... Good. We, we were quoting, to be, to be perfectly honest, we were quoting uh, Dumb and Dumber at times. So it's one of our favorite movies to talk about, watch together. Mm. Look at the fun bags on that. Mm-hmm. I'd like to eat her liver with some fava beans and a bottle of Chianti. <laughs> well, you know, because there's Chianti yes. in the Tuscan regions. Yeah, you, so had, the, you had the fava beans. Yeah, too, exactly. Right? Uh, dozens is the answer to your question. Uh, let's go to Brad. Brad, you're on Can't Do It. Go. This is my question for Danny. Okay. In a long trip you were with, uh, your wife in Italy and all that. Was there a time that you said to yourself, "Man, I gotta get away from this woman"? <laughs> no, um, like we got. <laughs> let me think. There, there was a day. There was, there was a day that we were just like, "Let's just like go read our books, like our respective books hey, on man, the, on, at the pool." That's and, just like, that's just sensible couple life, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah there, you like, know, there, if there you was feel, a, feel like you need the break, go give yourselves a break. Yeah, there was there was. That was like the the exact midway point. You also got to remember, like we didn't do the honeymoon right after the wedding, so we weren't in like the newlywed bliss. We were like traveling quite a bit in Italy, so sometimes that was stressful. Mm. Um, like in like for brief moments, but yeah, I would say like six or seven days in when we just were like, let's just spend the day reading our book, and you know, we'll reconvene for lunch, that sort of thing. So I guess that was would be would be the time. Um, let's see here. Todd. Todd, you're up on Can't Do It. Go. All right. Sorry. This is me, and I wouldn't be able to answer, but it's for Speaks. Yes, sir. Speaks. speaks um, I said it's mean, but the point is to get you to say it. Who is, first and last name, who is the baddest female employee at the score? Who would be the honorary fat guy podcast female? The Who would be the female on the I'm Fat podcast? See, but the yeah, I'm, the, the, the point that you're missing. The point that you're missing, Todd, is that the I'm Fat podcast is not merely for large people. Like, oh, that's, okay. that, that is, there's, okay. there's far more to it than that. Okay. There, is, okay. there is, first and foremost, a comfort level with one's largesse and one's eating habits and, and foibles and also one's effort to quell such things, but kind of throwing your hands up in the air and realizing you are what you are. We call it an appreciation of food. <laughs> <laughs> it is an appreciation of food. It is a willingness and comfort to admit some of the deep, dark things we have done in regards to food. And I know of no female at this station or who has expressed such a, a comfort level, Gen- genuinely speaking, because there are guys at the station that are bigger than Jay Zawaski or Rick Camp. <laughs> there, may not, there may not be guys who are bigger than well i don't know are we the three well, biggest guys at the sounds station? like a question for next week <laughs> i mean ethan was a jerk and got the surgery before he left oh uh, yeah cheater <laughs> the, um but you know what i mean like i, I genuinely can't, can't one of our that. secretaries loves pizza and she's very open about it but i'm not you know oh, it's not my question a, civilian yeah. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I, I, you can't just throw civilians on, under a bus here. But again, I've never had conversations. I guess, do we give the guy a prize? Yeah, can't do, oh, can't do it. Congra- can't do it. Can't do it. Congratulations. I hope you feel good well, about yourself, well, sir. I'm filibustering there for I can't do it. Give good Todd, for you, give Todd. Give Todd a prize. Brian, you're on Can't Do It. Who's your question for? Danny. Okay, go ahead. Uh, how many times did you get laid on your honeymoon? Oh, boy. Really? Oh, okay. This well, is what we're doing? Yeah. <laughs> How many times uh, did I get laid on my home? I mean, uh, plenty, but uh, not every day because sometimes we were just <laughs> drunk and went to bed. Um, I'd say somewhere between seven and ten times, six and ten times. Somewhere like I, I'll, I'll give you eight. I'll give you eight times. I'll give you eight times. Seems, but I, to be honest with you, I don't remember. We've been, you know. Yeah, we've been we've been together for like four years, so I, I'm not counting at the at this point. Uh, let's see here, Chris, you're the last one. You're on can't do it. Is your question for? Are, are Chris? Are you in a Winnebago? Or are you in a city called Winnebago? <laughs> I'm I'm in a city right now for work, about 20 minutes west of Rockford. Okay, all right. 
Um, question for Spiegs. Um, removing all emotion, who is the better, who was or is the better intimate partner, your ex or your current? Uh, that's actually very easy to answer. And I, I take you to the Chris Rock quote, which is fairly famous, I think, that uh, what women cannot go backwards in lifestyle and men cannot go backwards <laughs> sexually. You remember? You, uh, yeah, you of remember course. That? Yeah, yeah, no, I know. He does a great bit on the difference between men and women and it's from a while back. And yeah, men cannot go backwards sexually and women cannot go backwards in lifestyles. What Chris Rock said, and I think he's spot on. So, yeah. So that would be present day. All is well. In translation there. Okay. <laughs>